And being that that was the first time that that has happened to me where I had so many people commenting on something that I put up, it was a little overwhelming. At first, I was wanting to go back. Like, who are you talking to? Who was you talking to? <laughs> I believe I'm sitting down doing some makeup. I have not done makeup with you guys in so long as far as like just a dedicated video to makeup. So if you're new here, my name is Yvette. I would not do a long intro. I used to be really into makeup and I kind of just, yeah. I'm getting ready to film a podcast episode. My podcast name is Instill a Mother. Now these are not really any new products from what I've been showing y'all before so well y'all might not know because all of my makeup videos i took down so but i do have the makeup oh my goodness y'all i know i keep stopping but look at my finger y'all i tried to put a band-aid up there because it looks so ghetto but it's still a ghetto because it's no tip so i'm just gonna do everything with this hand <laughs> i have the makeup by mario foundation which has been raved about on tiktok I like it I already did try it so this is not gonna be a first impression but when I did show it on my blog I didn't show like the actual steps so I'm just we this is like a chit chat get ready with me y'all y'all might see me taking sips of my coffee because I have my coffee right here I do have you can't really see it right here but I do have hearts heart coffee cubes in here and I showed y'all how I got it in my most recent vlog but it's just heart silicone molds but I linked it in my most recent vlog. Um, what else do we need to go over before I begin? Oh, if you look, see me looking over here, that's because that's where my mirror is at for me to actually see what I'm doing. If you look, see me looking over here, that's because I'm trying to make sure I'm still in focus, but we should be good because the camera I got, baby, they don't play them games, okay? And I just washed my face because I just got out the shower. I'm gonna be using the Charlotte's Magic Cream to, to moisturize. I love this moisturizer. It just does me so good. I went to the gym today and I had such a good workout, you guys. Now, I am very much sore. And that's one thing that I do hate about when you start weightlifting and things like that because I was only doing cardio for a while now. Like, I probably haven't touched the weights. It's been a long time since I touched weights. And... I don't know, I just was like, I, I was just thinking in my head like, oh my goodness, I hate the weight that I am. I just need to get this weight off of me, so let me just do cardio so I can lose fat. And I just feel like, you know, I, I know I know you guys that you can lose fat by weightlifting also, but in my mind, I just was like, I just wanna lean out and then I worry about toning up. But I'm glad that I started incorporating weights back because it shows me where I'm, see, I'm already messing up, y'all. I haven't did this in so long because talking and doing makeup is like, it shows me where I'm, like, what's my strong areas and where I'm weak at. So, yeah, but after every workout, I have been doing 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. Yeah. I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Magic Cream, I mean, I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas to prime. I did wanna go get the um, the Milk Hydro Grip. I used to love that primer. And there is no reason why I stopped using it. I just ran out of it. And once I ran out of it, I just was like, let me just try something new. So, once this is empty, I'm going back to that. This is cool and all, but you know, I like to switch it up sometimes. Switch it up by going back to the same thing I've been using. So I've been doing really good in the gym, you guys. Like, I'm so proud of myself. I feel like I finally reached the point where this is like, like, because for years, years, I have struggled with losing weight. And if you don't know, I'm a teenage mom. So I had kids young. And I, so I pretty much never had my adult body to myself. So it's really important to me on a personal level, a level for me to get in shape because i'm like i want to be able to experience like i want to see how far i can push my body you know 
and see how good it can look. So I've been really struggling with starting and stopping, starting and stopping. And it really has frustrated me for a long time. And I feel like I'm finally into a space where I am just doing good. So I'm proud of me. I always do moisturizer, then I prime, and then I do my eyebrows. So I'm using the Precisely Brow Pencil, and I'm in the shade 4.5 that I'm using. I kind of alternate between 4.5 and 5. 5 is a little darker. 4.5 is a little more brown. It just depends on how I'm feeling, which one I use, baby. I'm not going to walk y'all through the steps as far as, like, how to do your makeup and stuff, because I feel like we're past that point. Can we all, as a collective, say we're past that point? If you're not past that point, I feel like you really don't need like to be told exactly what to do. Just just watch. Okay. But yeah, I'm proud of myself as far as doing good in the gym because y'all, it's been a long time coming. I am so like it's just a breath of fresh air because it's like it's frustrating when you really really want to like lose weight or just get consistent with it or be one of those people that just like going to the gym now granted i do go to the gym all the time i gotta bring this closer to me y'all i'm sorry so granted i do go to the gym all the time but i found myself going to the gym and like using that as a like an escape instead of what it's supposed to be used for which is working out and when I say an escape, because I'm a mom, I have twin toddlers. When I go to the gym, I just feel like it's a break. Now my toddlers are in daycare, so I do get a break, but I also work from home. Like, I just feel like I do everything from home. You know what I'm saying? So I just be needing to use that as a escape. So when I was going to the gym, I would go to the gym. I would be sitting in the car for a little bit listening to something on my phone like so i try to listen to some type of positive speech or something and then i will go in the gym this is so pitiful y'all i will go in the gym sit in the sauna now on the way out the sauna it's a little couch y'all i would sit on the couch and i would be on the couch for about 30 minutes and then i would work out and then some days y'all i know i'm not the only one so don't be out here judging me some days I will go to the gym, work out literally for 10 minutes, and then go get something to eat from a fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yep. I feel like I'm in a good place now. Like, it just feels so good to finally be in a good place because I do still go to the sauna, but I use that as a point of where, okay, Yvette, this is where you're gonna sit down at. So when you leave out of here, you're not sitting down on that couch. You're gonna get your happy tail on that stair monster and work out. I've been doing really good with that. And it just feels good. I'm ready for summer, baby, because this year I'll be 30. So that's another milestone that's really important to me. Uh, my 20s, <laughs> my 20s are over. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of people are making it like on social media, they make it seem like 30 is so old. And 30 is not old, cause baby, I still feel childish. No matter, if I'm a mom, it don't matter. I still feel childish. So I'm about to go ahead and line up my eyebrows, y'all. They might not be perfect because I do still, I need to go get my eyebrows threaded, but today ain't the day. So I'm about to go ahead and line my eyebrows with the NARS chocolate. And this is their Soft Matte Complete Concealer. You guys, can y'all believe my camera overheated? And that has never happened before. But then again, I have not filmed a makeup video in a long time. So I haven't had a light on it in a long time. I went ahead and lined my eyebrows. I just, yeah, I just pretty much lined them, like to clean it up pretty much. I definitely need my eyebrows done. I feel like lining them also help you create your shape. I know some people say they don't line it on the top because it creates a halo effect with their eyebrows, but that don't happen for me, so. I don't even know what I was talking about, honestly. <laughs> I know I was telling you guys about the gym. So yeah, that's going really good for me. So I feel like everybody that has watched my videos before should know that I have twins because I have documented a lot of videos on them. But y'all, the twins are getting so big. Y'all, 
they are getting so big and driving me so crazy because they are so busy and granted i only deal with them all day during the actual uh weekend while when the daycare is closed but y'all those two days oh my goodness and then monday she had the audacity to be closed so guess what I had to deal with them. I'm saying that like they're not my kids. But y'all, twin toddlers, if you could only... I'm going to tell y'all what happened last night. But before I do that, I'm about to go in with the by, uh, Makeup by Mario Foundation. I'm in the shade 24M. I'm going to shake it up because it probably settled a little bit. It's going to sit. But um, yesterday, y'all. So I always put the twins down to go to sleep at like 8, 830. Okay? Right. Right. So yesterday, I put them down. Now, y'all, I'm downstairs chilling. You know how it is when you when the kids go to sleep. It's adult time. You know what I'm saying? All by myself, but it's adult time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm downstairs having a drink. You know what I'm saying? Watching TV. And next thing I know, I hear sliding down the steps. So in my mind, I'm like, I don't even have to turn around. I already know who coming out them steps. Kaylani. But y'all. Why, when I did turn around, it was both of them, not just Kaylani. So, Kaylani is the girl, Khalil is the boy. Y'all, they were sliding down those steps like they supposed to be out their crib. And the thing is, they know how to get out their crib. And I'm just like, <sighs> so Kaylani pretty much was getting out her crib almost every night. And she was teaching Khalil how to get out his crib. So, now he know how to get out the crib. And it was making me really nervous with them getting out the crib like that so what i did was i took off like they have the type of crib to where it can go into a toddler bed so i took off the side into it right i took off the side into it y'all thinking all right i'm gonna take off the side into it that way they won't hurt themselves by getting out the crib trying to hop out you know what i'm saying and thinking that i'm gonna just put my mama voice on and be like Get your tail off the crib, right? The first night I took it off, y'all, I was in there so stressed out. They was not listening to me. They were looking at me like I was dumb. Like, girl, boo, we, who gonna stop us? When you close that door, we getting right on up. Cause I would go, what they what they was doing was they would get in the crib. And then the moment that I closed the door, they out the crib. And then if I come back in there to check on them, because it's a camera, and that's another thing, y'all. I have a camera in their room. Tell me why every time they get out the crib, they unplug the camera. So that's how I know they be out. But I can't see what they doing because they unplugged it. But I know they're out. If it say offline and I know it was online, that means they're out that crib. So I go in there and they run back to the crib, y'all. And then when it come down to coming down the steps, I know I can get a gate. But listen, if they can get out the crib, they gonna hop that gate. If you can hop the crib, you gonna hop a gate. So, I don't know what to do. Because they not listening to me. And what I'm gonna do, make them listen? Like, they're just not listening to me. They're babies, so, I don't know. They just look at me like I'm crazy, but they have been hopping out their crib every night and I'm about sick of it, okay? Like, Whew, they driving me crazy for real. I'm so glad that their dad is like present and there to help me because y'all, if he wasn't there, y'all, I tell you, them twins will be my 12th and 13th reason why. Because baby, listen. So this is how the foundation looks with just the foundation on. I don't have any concealer on or anything like that. Um, I know my neck. Is like a little bit darker y'all but that's not because i have eczema really bad so i don't know if you can see it but like it's kind of this is how it looks when it start healing like i don't know if you can tell like on my arm this is this is actually a good stage because this was really bad so when i start putting medicine on it it heals as far as stop being itchy so i don't scratch it but it still leaves a dark mark and eventually the dark mark goes away but you just got to get to that point you know about to go ahead and apply the born this way concealer and i use the shade chestnut and then i'm going to apply 
a lighter shade just a little bit because I like to have a bright under eye and this is in the shade butterscotch you probably can't can you see it <sighs> just trust me y'all it's butterscotch okay I'm kind of glad that I'm starting to get back into makeup y'all because let me tell I was not like y'all I just was like when I first was doing um, my YouTube videos and I decided to go to makeup route I did that because I never was into makeup and then when I started getting into makeup I was good at it and I'm like oh shoot I like it and you know how when you first start getting good at something do you want to do it all the time until it's just like okay <laughs> like so I'm about to use these this pack to um dry it down but so then I got to that point where I just was like okay like I'm tired of doing my makeup just to take it off my face okay and because that's what I was doing. I would literally record a video. You know what I'm saying? Take a couple of pictures and take it off my face. I ain't got time for that. I commit everybody that can do it. But baby, listen. For a mom of multiple, I don't have time to be sitting here putting no makeup on my face. And then when I was doing those videos, I was in my apartment. So I had turned my dining room into like a little studio area. So I would try to keep the kids in the room while I'm recording. It was just ghetto. It was a lot. I'm just, I just got out of that phase. And then when I got pregnant with the twins, I'm like, okay, like I don't even feel like doing makeup anymore. So I just stopped doing it. So I just only was doing my makeup when I would go out somewhere. But now that I'm trying to like, well, not trying now that I'm like have my face in the camera a lot. I don't want to look a mess all the time, even though that's one thing I commend myself on when it comes to my videos, y'all. I show y'all the raggedy event, the good looking event, the oh, she look okay, the gym event, the about to go to sleep event, the first woke up event. Like, I don't hide none of that because I want to be as realistic as possible. Like, no, I don't like. I don't I don't I don't care for the type of influencers that make it seem like that oh I wake up looking good or I you know what I'm saying like if you do you do you know what I'm saying God just bless you but baby listen I be looking like a chicken head I just uh-uh but I'm starting to get back into makeup because I just like doing it I like doing it and I like putting a face on when I film my podcast episodes because I do a visual also and I upload it on YouTube so I like doing that and yeah, it give me a reason to you know what I'm saying do something with myself because as I've mentioned several times I'm a mother so I feel like moms can get so caught up into being a mom that we let ourselves go so it's like me being able to do my makeup and just have that time to where I can transform myself it's amazing and it's not a situation to where I feel like I have to have makeup on to look good like no I'm very comfortable in how I look just regular natural but come on now makeup enhances that's his purpose like come on who really has if your skin looked like makeup was on it you wouldn't put makeup on it so who whose skin really looks like that it's just it's just not realistic so I'm just blending it out with a beauty blender. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lighter shade. Y'all, I was on, on Instagram and I had saw that um, Aaliyah J, she had posted why your nose starts tearing up when you do your makeup. And it's because when you're like messing with your face and around your nerves as far as your nose, it makes your nose start running. And I always wondered that because I'm like, I'm so tired of filming and my nose be running like like my nose stay running Ugh, it's so irritating and it's like it always does it when i'm doing my makeup and i'm like great now the snot is running down getting on my foundation but interesting i'm glad she posted it because i always wondered why i could have googled it but i guess i didn't care enough i've really been doing a lot better when it comes down to posting content before you guys, I was all in my head when it came down to posting content and coming up with ideas and overthinking it because honestly, it can be a lot. 
it can be a lot like i was getting overwhelmed baby i'm like every every time i turn around it's something new you got youtube shorts instagram reels tiktok facebook reels like twitter like it's just it was becoming a lot and i was getting really frustrated because i'm like every time i turn around they changing the algorithm to something and if you're not into like creating content and stuff it might not affect you at all but if you are watching this video currently then you're watching a content creator and sometimes you know it takes so much time and energy into putting these videos up and editing it filming it and it's like when you're doing all of that and then you're not Like, it's not all about the views. I don't want y'all to think that I'm saying that it's all about the views. It's not that. But it's like, who wants to put all of that work and time into it and nobody seeing it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I will look at my own video numerous times. Or if I post a reel, I'll look at it over and over again. Like, me and Kehlani we'll be looking at it we'll just be sitting there looking at laying at it together so i enjoy looking at my own content and i really like be happy when i film something and i'm like i like how it came out because i'm really anal with that and but it does get frustrating sometimes when these platforms keep changing the algorithm to things like for example with youtube shorts which are like similar to instagram reels or short they're short form videos when it come down to YouTube shorts and stuff like that, when I first started posting YouTube shorts, this is before YouTube allows you to monetize it. So if you're not monetized on YouTube, you might not know. Prior to February the 1st, YouTube shorts weren't monetized. So you were just pretty much creating, like, I one of my, prior to February the 1st, one of my YouTube shorts got 570K views on it. I literally made 26 cent off of that. So it's like, they wasn't really like putting ads on those videos for you to make some money. So I was getting a lot of views on my YouTube shorts, which I was excited about because let's just be honest. If you're an aspiring content creator, what do you want to have? Views because you want people to see your content. So the very moment that YouTube changed it to where you are now. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all I'm just talking. I didn't even tell y'all, I just put some um, Laura Mercier translucent honey setting powder on my concealer. So, and then I'm about to bronze with the Hula Toasted Bronzer. Y'all, I had this for so long and then it broke up all into pieces. Do y'all see that? But I'm still gonna use it. Mm -hmm. So the very moment that YouTube allowed you to monetize those YouTube shorts, it was like I was not getting any views. I would literally like one YouTube short I posted and I literally got like 90 something views in 24 hours. And it went, you know what I'm saying? And that's coming from getting thousands of views in a couple of minutes. So that is frustrating because it makes, as a content creator, it makes you a little discouraged because it's like, oh my goodness. Like now I got to jump through another loophole. You know what I'm saying? To excel. So it takes a lot, it's, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. So I say that to say, cause I don't, I don't beg for subscribers or beg for views. Like I don't, I never want to be that person because if you like me, then you're going to subscribe. Simple as that. But you know what I'm saying? Just if you are somebody that support content creators or like watching content, which I will assume that you are if you're watching this video just think about that when you're watching somebody that you like support them it can be something as simple as liking the video liking a video or even comment it lets youtube know okay people are liking this video let me push it out to other people you know what i'm saying so because it's like the time the money the energy that it takes to make this content it can be a lot you know so i appreciate everybody that comment on my videos and just support me because trust and believe it's some people that always comment on my video like every time and i just appreciate that even though i'm a small channel right now i 
see that and I appreciate it you know I was getting a little frustrated at first because like when I posted that um, that YouTube short that got so many views on it I was getting a lot of negative comments from people but I just had to I feel like that was a testing moment for me to realize that event like as a content creator and as you're putting your life out there people is gonna have something to say negative everybody is not gonna have something to say positive some people just gonna have something to say negative and you just gotta learn to ignore them and just know who you are as a person and just not care what they got to say you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that we perfect and you ain't supposed to just care what nobody have to say but some people are just trolls and being that that was the first time that that has happened to me where I had so many people commenting on something that I put up, it was a little overwhelming. At first, I was wanting to go back. Like, who are you talking to? Who was you talking to? I had to tell myself, like, you bad. Listen, baby. Listen, what you gonna do? Find them? <laughs> so, I just went ahead and contoured my nose, added some bronzer on my eyelids. And y'all saw me contour my the perimeter of my face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the dark deepest. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm using the color dark deepest. And this is pretty much like just a skin finish that you just use all over your face to blend your makeup together. Also, you can use this, like say for instance, you just don't wanna put on no makeup, no concealer, or if you just wanna put on concealer in this, it does make your face look more smoother so i really like this i hope they never stop making this because this matches me great i know sephora has something similar but they don't have one that matches my skin too so mac and for any chance you might be watching this don't discontinue this because the amount of companies that have been discontinuing stuff i'm just like what is going on baby now i'm gonna add blush i did just this is my second time using blush y'all so i'm gonna be using the moon the moon blush this is by benefit cosmetics y'all my camera telling me it's time to wrap this on up because it keep cutting off from being hot so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this blush like this first so i'm gonna just take a brush and apply it last time <laughs> not the face of worry and I'm gonna just take this sponge and blend it out it's all good okay okay so now we're gonna go ahead and spray the face with the Charlotte Tilbury this is the Air, this is the airbrush flawless setting spray. Party all night, stay all day. Perk. Gotta protect the drink, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry down. Then I need to change the battery out because I only got 4% left. So I'm gonna do that. Then we're gonna come back, put mascara on, put the lashes on, put a lip because, well, is it really called a lip if you're only doing clear? Okay, so setting spray is set. It look good on y'all. Don't it? Don't even lie. Don't even lie. It look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara, y'all. I use two mascaras. I be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, and then I be using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. It just I just mix it both. I like both, but honestly, the L'Oreal, I need a new one. We did mascara. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the glue to my lashes. Y'all, honestly, I don't know what lashes these are because I've had them for a while. But I will say whatever brand, like whatever design they are, is either, it might be like Chiffon and the Kiss. I just know they're Kiss lashes. That's, what, that's all I know. I can't even tell y'all specifically which ones. Shawty swing my way. Are y'all ready for summertime? I'm not. I'm not ready for summer because I won't be ready for summer until this body is like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like I want to, I want to cause accidents walking down the street. That's what I want to do. I don't want to buy a die, but you know, that's what I want. <laughs> I still gotta do my hair. I need to hurry up because I it is literally 3:28, and my kids gonna get home around five something. So I need to film. I need to hurry up. What can I be doing right now? Well, really, lashes is the last thing. Um, so while my lashes are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lip gloss, y'all. Now, let me tell you, this is the best lip gloss that you will ever have in your life. It's not Jouer, Dior, Fenty. It's Bath & Body Works. Mm -hmm. This Bath & Body Works lip gloss right here in the green tube, this. Can y'all see it? Y'all see the green tube? This. This is, how it, this is how it looks. Screenshot this. This is the best bath. Of, this is the best clear lip gloss you'll ever have. This is how much it costs, seven dollars and fifty cents. I, I literally have like four twos. My mom bought me one for Christmas, and then when I see it, I just get it because at one point I couldn't find it. Like they never had it in stock, so anytime I would see it, I would just get it. Well, I love this lip gloss. It's just so thick like me it's just glossy y'all see it y'all see it i could have asked some uh lip liner but i don't feel like it so so i used to all y'all when i first started doing makeup i could never get my lashes on so i literally used to go to sephora buy some i used to buy some lashes from them just need to be curved a little bit I used to buy lashes from them and then get, they'll put it on for you for free i used to do that every time that i was getting going out somewhere but then i was like i'm, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> i had to learn i had to learn so i forgot who i was watching i want to say i was watching Aaliyah j and um she just showed how to put it on so she was saying that she just looks down so she could see exactly where her line is at like her so you just look down look down so you can see where you're putting the lash and you just stick it up there and then if it's not like on the actual like if it's not on your lash line because you want to have it as close to your actual lashes as possible because you people can tell if you if your lashes if your eyelashes is your if your real eyelashes right here and then your lash is right here people can tell so you want to have it as close to your actual real eyelashes as possible y'all i can't talk while I'm putting this on do y'all see how i'm struggling just watch please I, 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 will, I will resume when i'm done Okay, and then I take the other end of the tweezers and I just use that to press the lashes as because if I wasn't able to get all the way down there, I just press, I take it along the line, I press like this. See, that's it. Now, y'all see this little gap right here? Do I wanna do it today? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take a, um, Y'all see how, you know, the space between, you, you see this, this, this space right here, this. I'm going to go ahead and take the NYX Epic, NYX Epic Ink Liner, and this is in the color black. And I'm just going to take this across my actual line. This part always makes me nervous because, because I don't have steady hands. You see how I make it look, since there's no lash there, it makes it look a little bit more, you know, not fake. That's a little bit, not too big. People know you, people know you fake, okay. 
know why this song is stuck in my head. Try to swing my way. I look good, y'all. Can you tell me I don't? makeup mm -hmm. so i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and then do my well i'm about to say my edges but that is my hair so i'm gonna do my hair put on my sweater and then i'm gonna be back to close out this video all right you guys so that is it i'm done i'm about to film my episode i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was we was dibbling dabbling and a little bit of everything but I just wanted to chit chat with you guys and show you guys how I'm doing my makeup nowadays. I think makeup event is making a comeback. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. 